Hello guys, welcome to part 2 of making an online Pokemon game. So last time we made this player that moves downwards and we set up the server. So this time I want to set up a background using tile sets. So I kind of alluded to this at the end of the last video, but here in the graphics folder there's a file called tile sets that holds all the tile sets. And we're going to be using this one called outside because it's the biggest and it's probably the most important one for now. So I'm going to go to my programming folder, go to public resources, and this is where we put our boy from before. I'm going to create a new subfolder and I'm going to call it tile sets, tile sets, don't want to spell it wrong. Copy, I'm going to copy this and then paste it in here. So now if we go to the actual code, you can see it resource tile sets and it's here and it is really big. So I already have functionality to make a tile set. So you just type in new and oh, and the, it's under properties, the script for it if you want to look at it, even though it's not really a property, but it's there because it's a image and I wanted to keep all the image stuff together. So new image set that's what I called it the first property is what's the file location so if it has any subdirectories so tile sets is its subdirectory t-i-l-e-s-e-t-s -E -E and then the next parameter is what's the actual name so out side and then how many cells is it width and height so I mean you can count it if you want I believe it's an 8 by 501, but we'll check that later. I prob I'm probably wrong. And now we need to actually draw a cell on it. So we've loaded it up and we can use it now. So now we draw it. So I'm just going to go to the step event. And remember, this happens every frame. So every frame, this will update. And I'm just going to do image set dot draw. And we're going to draw the outside, the outside tile set, and where we need to have a position to draw it at. So we'll make a temporary position since we don't have any other place. So we'll just do a new RP equal new position. And then this normally is normally a um, property that requires a reference for it. So it requires a reference. But there is no reference here, so we can just type in null and then zero zero for the coordinates, the x y coordinates, and then we'll pass that in. So we'll draw it at zero zero, and then now we need what cell do we want to draw? So in this case, I'm just going to draw this square, this grass cell right here, which would be one zero. Save that. Come here and refresh. And now it draws at the position zero zero. And if I wanted to draw it at like 64, 64, I could. Whoops. And it looks like 501 was correct. I mean, it doesn't look wrong. So we'll just leave it at that unless I notice that it's more wrong. So that's done. But the main thing I want to do this video is deal with the fact that what if I wanted to draw like this pokeball right here well I don't want to count all the way down to figure out which position that pokeball was at so we're gonna write a program that allows us to put in this file this image and then just hover over it um, a cell that we want and have it tell us what the coordinates are. And this is a really quick thing to write. So I'm just going to minimize the public and the server because we won't be needing those for right now. Then I'm just going to create a new folder because it's going to be a whole new project just for this. And I guess I'll call it tile counter. You can call it whatever you want really. And first thing I want to do is copy this index.html. So I'm going to copy paste it in and for no other reason than I don't want to rewrite it 
So now if I open that up, close main, I'm just going to remove all of that and remove all of this and remove entities. And now I just need these files. So I need a main file. So main.js and it's not located in, S in the source file. So I can remove that. And I'm going to take this library. So in public, I'm going to take this libraries file. I'm also going to copy and paste that. And this is just the, and if you look in this, this is just the P5 libraries. So we can use like canvas and all that. So I'm going to close index and then in main. Now we'll write the program. And this is a really fast program. I think 25 lines. So the first thing I need is a function setup and function draw. So this draw function works the exact same as our step function, the exact same. The only difference is my step function has a little more to it than this. And this setup function here is also the exact same as the setup function in here. Okay. So now we need to set up a few things. So first off, let's make a canvas. So I'm going to save our canvas there and then say canvas equals new canvas. And I'll just say 500 by 500, just an arbitrary number. Okay. And now I'm going to come over to here and make it open up a new tab. I'm going to control O for open and let's open up this index file. Control shift I for load. Did it work? Control shift I. Oh yeah, it was just loading. So this will just open up the console on the right. So apparently it's just taking a really long time, I suppose or we're just not working for some reason, but that's fine for now, I guess. So now I'm gonna set up a background. So background zero, just so we can see the canvas. So if I refresh now, it's not gonna work. So why isn't it working? Oh, because canvas, it should have been create canvas, and that shouldn't have been new. That should have just been a function. Okay, I don't know what I was thinking. There we go really want okay there we go i got it open i got the console open control shift i okay now we can do things with this canvas so i'm gonna say canvas dot drop and then i'm gonna say func inside the parentheses i want to do function file and then curly brackets so this is saying when we drop a file onto the canvas what do we want it to do and what we want to do is say that, if, let's say I drop in this tile set onto the canvas. First, I'm going to create a new image using this file and then draw that image so that we can actually see the tile set. So let's make a variable called image and then say fi, or, um, image equals, I believe it's create image file.data we're going to find out if i refresh this page let's try dragging this on okay so it worked but this looks a little weird it didn't work how it was supposed to i need to say dot hide because when we create an image and this is by like create image is a p5js function but if you just call it without the hide it does some weird things that we don't want it to do. So now I do hide. And then, okay, you don't see it, which is good. And we've got no errors. So here I'm going to say, first off, I'm going to take this background and put it in the draw event instead. And now I'm going to say if image, so if image exists, then I'm going to take do the function image using the img variable say image at zero zero image is another p5 function 
that just draws the image. So I can refresh, drag this on, and now you can see it. But we only see part of it. So we need to now resize the canvas to be the proper size. So I'll say canvas.size. I'm going to make it the image width and the image height. Image height. Okay. Refresh. Drag this on. There we go. Now we're getting closer. So now I could just have it so that when I click, it tells me, but I want to add a little more so that I can have a, I want it to be a little square hover hovers over the cell that I'm hovering over. So to do that, I'll just say, so I'll say, let's see. So I wanted to do no fill. Actually, you know what? For, for a second, I, I won't do that. And you'll see why. I'll add it back in later. But let's just do a rectangle. And the position is going to be mouse X, which is a P5 thing that just says the, the, a variable that contains the coordinates of the mouse. So mouse X minus mouse X module 32. Mouse Y minus mouse Y module 32. And then the size would be 32 by 32. So if I refresh this and I drag it in the outside again, you'll see it's working, but there's a, it, it's got this white fill in the inside and we don't want that. And so that's what the no fill does is when I take do no fill and I drag it on again, you'll see it's a black instead and it's just a black outline and we can see through it. Okay. Now we want to be able to click and have it display the display the X and Y. Okay, so now I can say function mouse pressed, another P5 thing. This just gets called anytime you click the mouse. Console.log. And I'm going to make two variables for x equals mouse x minus mouse, whoops, mouse x mod 32. I'm going to copy that and do it with y, mouse y, mouse y. And that's the same thing that's right here, just written into variables. And I'm going to do x divided by 32 and y divided by 32. Okay, now if I refresh, it's almost done, guys, almost done. Just I can just click, and on the right, it'll say 323, which is the coordinates of any given position. So if I just keep clicking, there we go. One last thing I want to do because this will make life easier. So I'm going to say console.log image.width divided by 32 and image.height divided by 32. And what this will do is tell me the width and height in cells of the whole image. So I do that 8502. So if you remember, I was in main I believe it was me. Yeah, here I did eight five hundred one. Now apparently I had that wrong. It should have been five hundred two. So it was probably like a very fraction of a pixel off, but that could have caused a little bit of weirdness. So it's good that we caught it now. So there we go. Now, now we can use this use this program anytime we need to find the cell. So here we are drawing a grass cell. So let's say I wanted to draw this right here. I click it and it's 142. So if I come back here, we were drawing one zero. So now I can draw instead 142. Come here, refresh, and now it uses that cell. There we go. So I'm gonna go back to one zero because I like the grass cell. And let's do something before we finish this off. Let's make this whole background grass. So I'm going to loop through every cell essentially. I'm going to say for var x equals zero, and that should be var x equals zero. X is less than width, which width is just 
what's in pixels, what's the width of the black area, and then height is the height in pixels of the black area. So that's all that means. X plus equals 32, so we're going to increase by 32. I'm going to do the same thing for var y equals 0, y is less than height, and y plus plus. And I'm just going to take these and put them in there. And then the position will be at the x and the y. And now if I refresh, oh, oh, we're getting some lag apparently. I assume that's lag. Here, let me try making this. Oh, I didn't mean to minimize it. If it would open, that would be nice. So I think I may have froze it. Here, one sec. Let me just bring in a new tab and then open up localhost 3000 again. Maybe make it smaller. So that doesn't look like lag necessary. That looks more like we had a problem with our numbers. So one sec, I'm gonna pause the video and double check the numbers. Okay, so I figured out it was actually a mix of lag and wrong numbers because it was lagging because I was using wrong numbers. I accidentally have plus plus here and that should have been plus equals 32. So it was incrementing through every single pixel instead of every 32 pixels. So if I refresh it now, there we go. Now it's working. But you notice there's this slight, these light lag lines going through it. And that was kind of my fault. I, I forgot to add in this line of code right here. If you go to screen, it should say pixel density one. Now for you guys, it'll probably work because I'll probably update the Git repository by then. So I'll probably do that after this video, just edit that line, add it in. But now when I add that in, the lines go away. So there we go. Now we have a background. So. What we're going to do next time is we're going to create a new program just like we did here. But instead, this is going to be a, a map editor so that we can like do this sort of thing where we go through. But instead, we're going to go through and then draw on everything. So draw on the map and then save. It'll be able to be saved into a text document and then imported through here and then used through the, the the game sorry that was a little confusing i was confusing myself there sorry okay but until next time see ya